back to Sable Gaming. We are going to be playing my slowest campaign again, and I'd like to go over a couple things. Uh, this is my second take of the episode two. The first one was an hour long, and I mean for that to happen, seeing as how I'm brand new. So, while this loads, so I'm going to cover a couple of things that I did not do so good in that mess. Number one, we have covered, maybe number one, we have made contact with a, with the race known as the Mermaids. You will see them as soon as this game loads. Number two, this will be, this will basically be an in-depth look of how a colony operates. Number three, This is going to be... This may not have any action. If it does... Do timestamp it. And we will go from there. Now, that being said... Good portion of these, uh... Good portion of these are from the DLCs which you can find on the Steam Store. So, uh, with that all said and done, and the game about to go, So, as you will see, I have done quite a lot off camera, actually, and a little bit in the, uh... So, as you can see, we have done a big time skip from the last video. The race we have made contact with is the Meteoric Data Bank, who is a mammalian robot. They're basically a research thing. So basically, this means we don't gotta worry that much about them. Okay, now. Okay, now. This basically tells you everything that you need to know. The fleet power difference, the tech level, and the economy power difference. As well as what you have with them, what they have with you, and other races. If you enter high enough, you'll see their starting point, and their and the founding species. And we can also see the civics, government, governing ethics, and ruler traits. 
this is their little badge. And this is where you can do your various things. Now, as you can see, I have a research agreement, a defensive pact, and I am and we are basically improving each other's relations. So basically we are going to be best friends. Now, to know who we are working with, with, we can go to Trade Deal. From here you can basically do stuff. For instance, I am going to offer two favors. In demand for communications with. Actually, I'll just do one favor. So, as you can see, this basically shows how it goes. You can basically do pretty much anything. So, let's unpause. And also, as you can see, the second fleet Oops. I... Uh, okay, that was an accident. I meant to hire... Situation log has been updated. I meant to hire a second admiral. It's gonna be... This guy, who I believe is from Japan. So again, as you can see, I have done quite a bit of uh, work, actually. You will also notice that the Empire Sprawl has overextended. This... Now, since it is a small sprawl, it will just give us... Plus a minor, a minor penalty. also see that we have found a dark matter deposit. Unfortunately, this is not an idle domain, so we cannot access it. However, we also have found exotic gas. All the way up in this system. So that's another fun little tidbit and also as we can see th there is a Gaia world in this star system where it is I do not know but all I do know is the name is Mon 2A which means more than likely it is orbiting this gas giant right here which means it is this world Unfortunately, since our intel is low, we do not know that much. So, we cannot get any usable information. Okay, now. Oh. And we have the Vizca Empire. Okay, they're good guys, so... It's gonna be cool of them. And then I did get a ship. So, yeah, we will uh, we'll beat them with open arms. So, as you can see, we have just bumped into two extra stellar 
Ancient Rate Freestyler. Oh, a Fallen Empire. Uh, yes. They are five of these, each with a... They are four with interesting traits, and there is one Fallen Empire with a... Uh, with a machine trait. So that's that mess. And be still around. Thank you now. A good rule of thumb is don't try to piss off these fallen empires too early. I've seen what their fleets can do, and they will murder you. Just a good rule of thumb, don't try to take them off too soon. Accidentally activated the search engine. <laughs> There's no that. That was a minor mistake. I do apologize. So basically, mining stations will grant you either alloys, minerals, energy credits, or they will grant you one of the strategic resources. Yep, we got closed borders. <laughs> they don't really want us. Which means we're gonna have to respect their wishes and not go anywhere near their territory. Now, as you can see, they have the Claws a Bell on us, which means... Which basically means they don't like us. Which means we are subject to be attacked. But we have an ally who unfortunately is going to act as a buffer zone, so I do apologize for that. What else? What else? Oh, yeah. You can also see that our science ship has done some very fascinating. Dang it! Has done some very interesting things. Well, the Rhine is nearly done with one of the for mining stations which will be in the Alpha Centauri system. Outside that, not really much to do. Outside that, not really that much to do. Okay, now, since this borders... Okay, now, since the herb system borders us, we can see into it, but we can't see these. But we can't see what they're doing unless I actually click the world. System survey concluded. Basically, this is just a mining system. It's not really that important. It's actually more of an outpost. Anyway. Such as the Kevin system for me. Which, as you can see, has four mining stations and one research station on this frozen world. Now, as I said, there are numerous various worlds that fall into one or two categories. They can or they can't be colonized. If they can't, then they will yield a resource such as this. So this is this world. It's basically a mining world which we can use to boost our economy. The second fleet is almost done. Yeah, I'm saying his name is actually best to When I says who calls the ship to side in? Let's 
Shay Alliage. Yeah, no, yeah, the ships have good names. As I said, I'll do some research and I'll try to like change that one's name. Now, unfortunately, we can't see the ship details of the civilian vessels, unlike previous modes of the game. Now, many structures can only be built in space. That's basically a no-brainer. I mean, like, you can't exactly build them, build them in orbit, you know. But I'm digressing. As you can see, we have surveyed up to here. This is going to be the extent of our empire for now. But you can see it will cost a lot of influence. So we're just going to move. Move the construction vessel up there. Okay, now, the automated shipyard is an interesting piece of equipment, I will say. We will either get free Corvettes or a cruiser. Works is entirely random. I will just say that right now. Okay, now, okay, now there are a number of habitable worlds we have. We have Savannah, a tomb world, a Gaia world, which is basically a hundred percent habit habitability for a, every single race. We have continental worlds, Savannah worlds, Tundra worlds. We have a desert world. And as I was... And as I said in the last video... Video... The planet size... And capacity... Depends on how... You make this world. I've also mentioned that the districts count to your Empire Sprawl. And now we get into the funness of choosing what we want this colony to be. Now, since it is going to be mostly an agricultural world, they're going to mainly focus on producing food. So, if uh, anyone is a Warhammer 40k fan, you will know that agro worlds are vital and destroying these is an absolutely no go. And this was founded recently. It was founded, unfortunately. And it has the third planetary guard. Okay, our second feed is almost up to full strength. Just two more vessels. Now, okay, now, an interesting little fact about the um, uh, engineering research. If you can get stuff to actually speed up construction time and lower the build costs of your warships. So that's a pretty handy little feature. You can also see where they are currently stationed. What they're currently doing. How many ships out of... How many ships they currently have out of how many they are supposed to. And the fleet power which... Which basically gauges their thing in combat. Again, I do apologize for not... 
making a video covering how to cover the first contact attack and how I handled it. I wanted to post it, but I am brand new to YouTube, so I can't exactly post an hour-long video as of now. So that is a little unfortunate for me. As you can see, this is going up, which means we are being on extremely good times with these guys. And, uh, oh yeah, I'd also like to point out that I have completed the Discover Tradition Tree, and I have chosen Technological Ascendance. Ascendancy, I mean. Which basically means our research speed is beefed up by 10%, and we can now get a rare research. We have detected an anomaly. Thank you, Gladys. That's what I was getting doing. Good stuff. Okay, now, a rare research can be distinguished because it will have a purple thing on it, but depending on which category it belongs to depends on how we will handle it. So as you can see we have a yellow white dwarf with with Roman 3 having a level 1 anomaly. What does this mean? I do not know. But it does have a lot of blockers. These blockers are basically a pain in the bum and you have to deal with them if you want to access more districts. As you can see, they are city ruins and industrial wastes. And it also has... that it is having this is this is it's kind of perfect to explain some of the uh, more minor stuff so basically since this is easy for our level 4 scientist he is speeding through this in no time at all. Roughly two in-game months. Which is pretty standard. Right, for someone of his intellect. Oh yeah, there are also ocean worlds. I forgot to mention those too. How about the worlds come in well, well, there are nine you can pick from, but there are a handful of others. Ooh! You're going to mention robots. So we have found a world with four robots that we can incorporate into our empire. Basically, this is a fallen... So basically, whoever owned this world... ...crumbled. As for what? I do not know. Let me know down in the comments of what you think caused... ...whoever was on Rom Free to... ...to basically vanish into smoke. With that being said... ...drop a like, leave a comment... A special project has concluded. Gladys. I mean, Gladys. I'm gonna do mix up now. Anyway, as I was saying, before I was interrupted, drop a like, 
leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, Wolfpack.